Hello everyone. Welcome in another SAP tutorial of ERP SAP team. Today we will learn how to find the WBS number if the asset number is given. Right? And second thing, how to find asset number if WBS number is given means WBS if asset number and asset number if WBS number vice versa okay because during daily activities frequently users are asking these questions how to check the WBS number if asset number is given how to check the asset number fixed asset number if WBS number is given right so we will see both the steps in very simple manner and with the logic right see during the process of the wbs creation to asset activity we will first uh, book the cost in our wbs material activity cost services cost and any miscellaneous cost then it hit to the ps clearing gl after first stage of the capitalization uh, the ps clearing cost will directly transfer to a auc asset and then auc asset to principal fixed asset first step if the asset number is given put in the as03 click on the origin tab in the original asset column, we will find AUC asset number. In the second same step, AS03 to check the asset, fill the AUC asset number and again go on the origin tab, see this is the WBS element. In the very simple time of the activity, within 2 seconds, you can easily find the asset number to the WBS number right in the second step in the second step we will find the WBS number if the fixed asset number is given right see open the WBS number in the CJ03 we have this WBS number right and just click on the enter okay select the Level 2 WBS against which you want to get asset number. Click on the settlement rule. See, there is a two line. First one is the AUC line, AUC asset line and the second line is fixed asset line. See, the 100% cost is transferred in this AUC asset and this is 9903 is the fixed asset. Right? So, this is the beauty of our SAP where you can click a single command and get all the related activity because everything is in the relatable right everything is in relatable because uh, once you create the WBS book the cost hit the PS clearing GL and after the first stage of the capitalization using CJ88 account officer will transfer the cost from the PS clearing GL to AUC asset that start from the 4-1 and in the second step we will set the settlement rule using CJIC and we will in the second step will transfer the cost using CG88 to the fixed asset right if we map the multiple assets against a single WBS then you will also get the details of the multiple asset number right so this is the beauty of uh, our ERP right thank you happy learning please share this knowledge with your colleagues and friends uh, they will also get the benefits of this important SAP transactions okay happy learning this tutorial I created for purely understanding and the learning purpose okay thank you have a good day